Oh, you're just going for it. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do an actual cut at the end. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Did you scare me? I was filming the whole time. Really? You didn't, I literally turned on the camera in front of you. Good grandpa, but you don't look Aww. good. You look like Aww. a mom. Thank you. Hello guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new. So this video is either going to be a day in my life or a weekend in my life. I haven't decided that yet. I'm gonna see how much footage I get for the day and then assess accordingly. You can see the curls are out for the girls. That was the most annoying rhyme, I'm so sorry. But yeah, basically all we did this morning was I just took a shower because Sylvia's on her way here to give my mom and I a blowout. We're going to a wedding tonight, which I'm so excited for. So my whole family is actually going to this wedding and I don't think we've done something where it's like literally everybody in the family in such a long time. So as you guys know, my parents did retire. Well, I use that term loosely. We did close our restaurant and give it out for rent, but my parents still do work. You guys know Baba, like this man is never gonna retire. But regardless, it's so nice to see my dad have way more free time. Like literally, I don't think my dad has been to a wedding. I have to ask him because he's just been so busy. And then even when there was weddings, like back in our hometown, like we would be catering, you know, with the restaurant. So I'm just happy to see my parents like actually like get glammed, get cute, enjoy themselves. But yeah, it is definitely a full house, you guys. Yasmin's here too, my parents. The wedding though is adults only, so Vaughn can't come. But luckily, Sylvia's sister is coming to babysit Vaughn. So that's basically the plan for today. I think you guys saw in a previous vlog, we went like shopping for like dresses and stuff. I found a really plain black dress. It's like my body makes the dress, like humbly speaking, but like, it's very, very simple, but I feel like the silhouette looks really, really good on my body. So Mel and I are doing like this all black kind of thing. It is an Armenian wedding, so of course, black is the way to go. Hey. Hello. Hello. I was just tying them you're coming Hello, into my beautiful. hair. Hello. Oh, look at your hair. I know, because I washed it so long wow, ago. And it's, it's like beautiful. Trying. Thank you. As y'all can see, we did the blowout. We kept the clips in a little bit longer because she's doing my mom right now, like I told you guys. So when she finishes my mom, we're gonna take out the clips just so we can have maximum volume. How's my mama? Mama, she's always good. Hey, twins. What is this music you guys are playing? It's a beautiful old song. <laughs> Wanna come dance, Franco? Yep, she's probably seen As mama today. dancing at the corner? We can see you in the mirror, smart one. <laughs> yeah. If I wasn't married, I'd for oh, sure find a husband tonight. She came to me. You're yeah. still gonna find a husband tonight. Mama. You have to be careful. All of your women tonight, they're yeah. gonna take. Don't worry about that. Uh, <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's strong. And we have another one strong too. Yes, this is true. And Mel is strong, nobody can bother. Mel strong, you have good night, that's true. Daddy! Daddy! Daddy. Auntie! We got Auntie Sylvia? Auntie! 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 Very sugary, or well, maybe no whipped cream. Did you ask for half the amount of yeah. mocha syrup? Only Nas gives somebody a difficult order when she's not going. Like you can't be having me get half pumps and half squirts and add this. And take well, they got rid of the skinny mocha, so I needed half the amount of mocha. Something like fishy about this. Skinny mocha? I thought they didn't have skinny. No, mocha. it's just half the amount of mocha. 
good, but I like bitter stuff. It's bitter. I know, but I like it. Guys, Vaughn woke us up. Or should I say woke Mel up? Because I don't be waking up yeah, say, uh, at 7 a.m. It's the earliest he's woken up in a very long time. I had to redo my... Drain the main vein. I um had to redo my face makeup. What? I don't know why, it just looked terrible. Like, it looked very dry, and I was like... You took it that? off? My, my face, not my eyes. But I should have been done. Like Tastes good, huh? Oh, I would have for sure been done by now, is what I'm trying to say, if it wasn't for that mistake. Can you close the door? You always like to leave my door cracked for some reason when you leave. All done, finally. If you guys heard me tell Mel, I actually had to wash off my face makeup and do it again because I don't know what happened, but like my under eye looked super dry and like makeup wasn't clinging to it. So it was just kind of like this patch of makeup missing from underneath my eyes. So I quickly just washed my face. No, I left like this part of my eyebrows, my forehead, my eyes, but then I redid the bottom half. Here is my wedding makeup. It literally feels like, look at the clock. What time is it? What time is it? I can't see. Literally, it's about to hit four. I started my makeup at 1.30. I literally feel like it's my wedding day because of how long it took me to do my makeup. But again, it's because I had to like redo it. That's why it took forever. But now I'm just about to put a little bit of makeup on my mom. You guys know her, she don't like too much. I need to move that ring light too, by the way. It looks ugly in the back. But yeah, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of makeup on my mom. We're just waiting on Sylvia's sister, Lilith, to come watch Vaughn. Vaughn is taking his nap, so he's gonna be asleep when she gets here. But he usually wakes up around like six. So we're gonna be at the wedding by then. So I'm so excited, you guys. I can't wait to see Baba in his suit and Mama in her dress and Mel in his suit. I hear footsteps. Hello? I was gonna do your makeup. <laughs> Well, my poor mama, I was like, I was going to do your makeup. She's like, well, you say you didn't have time, but that's because I was having kind of like a mental breakdown while I was doing my makeup. And I was like, mama, I don't have time. She look beautiful. Oh, you look beautiful, mama. Thank you. Goodbye, pretty mom. How old are you? 27? 25. People are no, going to think you're my sister. I'm 35. My age is up there. Yes, 35. She doesn't age past 35. <laughs> Are you scared of me? I was filming the whole time. Really? You didn't? I literally turned on the camera in front of you. I said, "Wait, let me vlog." No, I mean because I'm not said the. No. What you think? I just put it there for fun? My twin. Kayvon's mommy and grandma. Mm -hmm. Isn't he the luckiest boy in the world, huh? Yeah. I got this like Spanx like bodysuit. It's not Spanx. It's from House of CB. I'm talking the vlog. No, I'm trying to think I'm talking to him. See, it's like a bodysuit. Wearing it underneath. Oh, so you just cut it. Ooh. Guys, this is the dress that I got from Macy's in the previous vlog. I got so lucky with this dress, you guys. I swear, it was the ugliest dresses. And Ma did you find this one? Yes, I was about to say, you better thank your husband. Mel found it. Literally, Mel was like, how about this one? And it was a size four. I was like, babe, I don't think... But this dress is very stretchy. I've noticed that about Macy's. Their, their dresses run kind of big. I need this strap tightened. That's a little too tight, babe. Okay, that's pretty covered, huh? Here's the perfume I'm using. It's from Tiffany, Tiffany & Co. That's how they look. The bag I'm carrying. Balenciaga I got from New York. Then I'm just gonna wear a pair of basic black strappy heels. Crazy how our slits are on the opposite side. I know. So it like works for photos. So cute. I love all of Kayvon's toys on the floor. Hello, handsome. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> we go to wedding. Yeah. Mama, can I see you together? Yeah, see mommy. Grand, wow. Grandpa and grandma. Wow. So cute. I look a grandpa, but you don't look Aww. You look like Aww. a mom. Oh, thank you. Baba, what'd you say when you saw us? Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Okay, uh, 
I'm gonna find you. Okay. Ten minutes. Take a break. Drink your water. Yeah. Yeah. Get ready to shake. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. I will shake it. I will shake it. Living in the 6th century BC gave the gist of his whole teaching. And it's for this reason. What's up, you guys? It is actually the next day. I ended up, like, we ended up Ubering home earlier than my parents. They stayed until like 2 a.m. at the wedding. They were on one. Baba was on X Games mode. <laughs> Me and Baba, we typically almost every night take like a shot or two of like some whiskey or vodka or whatever. So I've seen Baba drink, but I've never seen him drunk before. Yeah. And he was lit last night. He was lit. So today, today is Saturday, and we are actually going to the grocery store to do our Thanksgiving shopping. Everybody knows you don't want to wait till the last minute to shop for Thanksgiving because stores be crazy, they be out of things. So we're Even actually... Even though technically we're still pretty last minute. I know. Like, we're going, what, four days earlier? We're still last minute? Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to go do the grocery shopping. We're going to eat something first because everybody knows the number one rule is you don't want to go to the grocery store hungry. Especially us, too, because we're munchers and crunchers. So, mm -hmm. we'll be grabbing everything. And we have some friends coming over, so we're trying to overcompensate. Like, it's just snacks for tonight. I know. And then we'll be left with them. I know. We don't want to do that. So, speaking about tonight, we actually have a few friends coming over. Justice and Kayla are coming over and Oleg and Brittany. And since my parents are here, my dad is going to make us all some kebabs. Um, specifically steak kebabs. So, I'm really excited about that. They're chicken shopping. For me. Yeah, it's chicken. Mama doesn't like meat either, so she's going to have chicken. Since when? Mama's not a big beef eater. She's never been. She doesn't even like meat. Like, when we go, like, out to eat, like, for example, like, Mexican, she'll get, like, shrimp quesadilla. Like, she gets, like, oh, shrimp. Me and your mom are, like, the same. I know. Mel and my mom are so, so similar. It's crazy. So, yeah, Baba's going to be cooking for us. We're just going to be hanging out, hot tubbing, all that jazz. Um, what else do we have to do today? That's pretty much it. So, for the menu for Thanksgiving, I am going to be roasting the turkey this year. Well, not turkey. We don't really like turkey. We're doing chicken. So I will be making my first roast whole chicken. I've never made a whole chicken before, but I'm really excited. Mel sees me. I'm on TikTok watching recipes like all day and I'm going to slay this chicken. So I am making roasted chicken. We're making salmon. Mel is handling most of the sides. He's making the stuffing. You call it dressing though, right? Dressing? Stuffing dressing. Yeah. Stuffing dressing. He's making the stuffing, um, mac and cheese, um, those just those two green huh? beans mashed potatoes yeah green beans mashed potatoes we're also going to be making green bean casserole and um and i really like sweet potato casserole i won't make a big one because i know probably won't be eating that much i'm gonna make a small sweet potato casserole bubble of sweet potatoes you'll probably eat that all I like sweet potato casserole Okay, then maybe a normal size sweet potato casserole. But yeah, that is our menu for Thanksgiving. Um, we're not really having like people over. I think Sylvia and her sister might be coming over. Um, if not, it's just going to be the family. But yeah, we're for sure going to vlog it for you guys. So yeah, let's go eat something. Bubba, he's been loving this face, babe. That's his new face.
one dollar. I do onion juice for the tinder. The chicken. And that is chicken, no, not for chicken. This just oh, this for, is for the on the just beef. For beef, yes. So we're just pureeing. This is just pure onion, nothing else. Yeah. We're gonna add lemon juice to it. Yeah. So to the beef tenderloin, we added those pureed onions, black pepper, and a splash of saffron. Gosh, guys, the onions. Whew. Baba, how did your eyes not burn off working at the well, restaurant for you? The onion is good for health. The onion is good for health. Onion is good for health. Guys, please, when you cut onion at home, stay there. Heal it. That is big help because this is my experience. Even my eyes is good and I'm diabetic because the onion. Yeah. Should yes. I put two onion? This is I put this much. Another yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. And put in in wait. I'll put, cut it, I'll cut another onion. Yeah, yeah. Lemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. This is literally the marinade for the meat. Onion, lemon, pepper, saffron. It's just crazy whenever I'm on, I think especially with like TikTok and social media, you see someone cook and you're like, where's the seasoning? Where's the seasoning? When they don't use like pounds and pounds and pounds of seasoning blends. And in all honesty, like in restaurants and stuff, they don't use that much seasoning. It really is just the flavor and the quality of the ingredients that gives that like delicious flavor and how you cook it. onion style. Okay, I, I, this one is Hi! 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 Oh my god, guys, Levana's oh showing off for Justice and Kayla. Wow. <laughs> wow. He loves that little uh, dog you guys got. He still loves wow. it. Can he's cuddling you. Wow. Can he have a hug? Have a big hug. Oh my god, he was like, <laughs> I love your curls, man. You look good. <laughs> How old are you? 15? <laughs> Is he like 15 now? He's so big. Two going yeah, on 20. He's so low. Was, oh my gosh, he's such a big boy. Wow. He's such a big boy. Oh when we wash his hair, it's literally to his shoulders. Like, wow. That's crazy. He's like, oh. like when his leg has like. Wow. Oh, wow. Like, wow, you're strong. <laughs> he's like, oh. This is what he does. He likes to give you wow. his guests all of his toys. Oh. Oh. Look, look, he's gonna bring this to. Thank uh, you. Wow. Yeah. Oh, he's doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look, 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 like this. Yeah. <laughs> look, what? He loves it. Okay, go, your turn. Can you do three though? <laughs> he just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he like moves him around like. Right, this. and he's like, I'm over it. Bye. Wow. 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 He snapped. I know. Mm -hmm. We give some to one and say, wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He's shy. He's shy. All right, Jess okay, is about wait, to do the order. So we have bag. This is steak kebab. Chicken. And then we have lemon for the chicken if you want that. Shirazi. This is a yogurt mint sauce. And then rice. Masafia. <laughs> Guys, we are about to cut this hair. I have been meaning to cut this hair. We're gonna do a little gloss too, cause the bleach at the bottom, you guys know I get highlights. The bleach at the bottom, you said it needs a tone. Tone, we're gonna, a tone? We're gonna, do, we're gonna tone you down. Yes, so. For the fall and the winter. Yes, we're gonna go a little bit darker. All of you guys have been saying, no, let's go dark again, go dark again. I'm never going black again, ever. It looked terrible on me. I love my color. It is very summery. I mean, it is basically like my natural color. But my hair, you guys, I know it looks pretty, but it is so thick. Like, my hair is so thick that it just feels like a mop on my head, and I need I need to breathe. Yes. Yes, yes. that's what we're doing. Nas okay. probably has the most hair out of all of my clients. Literally. <laughs> Whenever I go to a new, when I get like a little blowout, okay. they're always like, this is the thickest hair I have worked with. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe even a little more. Guys, my hair grows back so quick that I'd always rather her cut a little bit more off yeah. than not enough. 
Oh, you're just going for it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do an actual cut at the end. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Mom, do you understand how thick that was? Oh. My it was god. so thick. Then that's only half of your, like, only one side. Crazy. We really just chopped my hair off. I really did. How pretty. Are Don't you feel so much better already? Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> You guys, look at this, it's just half. This is like so much hair. Oh look at, my, look at that. Uh, Extension hair that you buy in the store. I know, it's literally yeah. that big. Only that much. That's oh why like, you need like two bundles, dude. How do you feel? I feel free. Woo! Wow, so this is like the perfect length. This is exactly what I wanted. Yeah, and now I'll like freshen it up. I'll do your color and then your layers and we're gonna go a little darker and it's just gonna be perfect. Yay. Hey guys, so on Thanksgiving, this was my first time ever making like a full chicken. By the way, we decided to do chicken just because turkeys are so big. And honestly, my family prefers chicken over turkey. So this was my first time ever doing a full turkey. So this is how I made it. I started out by chopping a bunch of herbs. The first one you guys saw me chop up was parsley. And this right here is thyme. I'm just tossing all of those chopped herbs into a bowl and then I'm also chopping up some fresh rosemary here as well. So what I'm doing right now is creating like an herbed butter and this butter is going to go underneath the skin of the chicken. So here is a full stick of butter. I love using the Kerrygold butter and this one is salted butter as well. So I just went ahead and softened that butter and now I'm just pressing in some garlic and then I just add some salt and pepper I believe and it's so easy to make that herb butter. You can actually make a big batch of this and keep it in your fridge and use it whenever you cook put it over toast or bread and it's just really nice to just like prep it I do feel like I use a little too much herbs um, com like compared to the butter that's why I'm adding more butter but ideally I wouldn't have liked it to be so herby if that makes sense I'm also adding this William Sonoma ultimate roast chicken classic rub William Sonoma has some fire seasoning you guys I just bought a bunch the other day but their seasoning blends are really really good so I'm just adding that to the butter too So I went ahead and washed and dried the chicken. So guys, I'm not gonna lie, I was like super intimidated, like working with this big piece of chicken. Like I always just work with like chicken breast or chicken tenderloins, but I was actually struggling with putting this butter underneath the skin. People on TikTok made it look so simple, um, but it was actually kind of difficult. I'm using the back of a spoon and I kind of just like get it in there and then I press it around with my fingers. But yeah, it was definitely a very messy process. I guess just on TikTok, it's only a few short clips, so it doesn't show how like difficult it can be. But yeah, I'm just stuffing all that herbed butter underneath the skin. And then as you can see, just naturally some of it is getting on top. Um, I'm also gonna be putting the same butter inside of the chicken too. I'm adding a little bit of avocado oil to the chicken as well. And I'm adding some seasonings, adding some paprika for color. And then I'm also going in with some more of that roast chicken seasoning from William Sonoma. And I'm just coating that all over. And then I'm gonna give the chicken, oh wait, not yet. I'm also adding some fresh cracked black pepper. And then also squeezing on some lemon juice. Y'all know I love chicken. And then I'm giving the chicken a really, really good massage. Ideally, I would have loved to marinate this the night before, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, I'm just really making sure to coat the whole chicken with all of that seasoning and the oil. Now to the inside of the chicken, I'm adding all of these herbs. So that was just like sage, thyme, y'all know the drill. I'm also adding in some lemon, a little bit of onion, and also a little bit of garlic. I guess I added more lemon. Um, and then I just went ahead and tied the legs together. And I cooked the chicken in this Reynolds oven bag. This is really nice because you don't really need to baste the chicken. I did anyway, but you just don't need to be like 
super on it with basting the chicken because the bag is kind of like infusing all the flavor so i left this in the oven at 350 for like four hours i believe so while we prep the food this is what mr vaughn's over here doing just chilling watching tv say hi above us he has his chips over here he's eating some chips and watching tv Vaughn is the only person in the house who's allowed to have his shoes on the couch and eat on the couch at the same time. Because it's just his world and we're all living in it. Spoiled up some sweet potatoes. Actually, Mama um, peeled these for me and cut them up. So they're finally fork tender. Where did I put my fork? Oh, here it is. So I'm making sweet potato casserole. I've never made it before. But Danny made it last year and it was so yummy. See, look, that's how I know it's ready. You can pierce the fork through it. So I'm just going to drain these, mash them. Sweet potato casserole is really easy. You just drain them, mash them, and then like add some sugar, some nuts. Can make it, sound simple. it is simple. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Some vanilla extract. Vanilla extract. Some regular sugar. Some butter. Some pecans. And some walnuts if you're feeling crazy. I also made some green bean casserole. I know not a lot of people like this, but like me and my mom specifically, we love green bean casserole. So I thought it would be nice to get the unsalted cream of mushroom soup. But when I tell you there's absolutely no flavor in the unsalted version, it's one time a year, y'all. Just get the regular sodium version, to be honest. I added a ton of salt, so it like basically defeated the purpose. I added some canned green beans, some milk, some garlic powder, um, some black pepper, and then I went ahead and mixed that all together. Added it to this pan and I popped it in the oven, but to be honest, you guys, it was still very watery after cooking it for like 30, 40 minutes. So what I ended up doing was tossing it into a pot on the stove, letting some of the liquid cook down, and then I popped it back in the um, oven after I added some fried onions, and it looked a lot better. What's good, y'all? Before we get into how to make this macaroni and cheese, you know we gotta have some good grapes. So I'm pouring up some good grapes. Uh, I think this was a red blend bottle. I can't remember exactly. Uh, pretty sure it was a Cabernet dominant red blend bottle. So the dressing I actually prepared the night before, I used the blue bag of Petrus Farm herb breadcrumbs, Jiffy cornbread, diced celery, diced onions, melted butter, chicken broth, poultry seasoning, sage, salt, pepper, and eggs, and also milk is all what goes into this recipe. I usually like to make this a day before so that everything can marinate together, all the flavors can sit well with each other overnight get to know each other, become friendly before you put them in the oven, then it tastes amazing. And now for most people's favorite, the main event, the main hitter, the mac and cheese. I'm gonna start while the water is boiling, cubing up my cheese, Velveeta cheese and butter. Put the noodles in, let those come to a boil or whatever you say when you put noodles in the water and let them cook. Let them get soft, stir them around, make sure they don't get stuck together. I have my cubed Velveeta cheese and butter ready to be put in the noodles. Drop those in while the noodles are still hot so that it melts well and just mix it all up. And this next step, you usually want to start while the noodles are still boiling, making the liquid mixture to add to the mac and cheese. Start with some whole milk, some evaporated milk, add that to the mixture. When I cook mac and cheese, I like to use the white pepper just so you can't see the pepper flakes within the mac and cheese. It doesn't really make a taste difference. Then I add in some salt. I use light salt just so you know we're not overdoing it with the salt. Adding eggs, you know, professional egg cracker. Put some sour cream in there, big heaping amount of sour cream. Yeah, I don't know why I held it there so long. Put the sour cream in there. And then I add some sugar. See, I can teach y'all a thing or two about how to whisk. You gotta be controlled. All y'all be too crazy. Even at this fast speed, I ain't getting nothing outside the bowl. Everything's staying inside the bowl. Real clean and controlled whisk. Then you wanna add in about a pound of Kobe Jack cheese into the mixture, which really you don't even need to do because when I pour this in, I was like, this. there was no need to even add the cheese to the mixture. <laughs> But then you add in the liquid mixture, stir everything together. The noodles are still hot, so it's still melting the cheese a little bit. But, you know, once you put in the cold milk and stuff, it cools the noodles down a lot. Then I go in and add some more sharp cheddar, 
and also have some more cheese i think medium cheddar i'm gonna add uh, or i guess i didn't add it <laughs> So after you have the mac and cheese spread evenly, you're gonna to wanna to put another layer of cheese on top. I use all the cheeses that I buy for mac and cheese just to relayer the top. Both the dressing and the mac and cheese go in the oven at 350. Typically it's gonna be about 45 minutes at least to cook, but really you just wanna cook them until they're both brown to your desired liking on the top. Now we're gonna be making the sweet potato pie. So this is about four or five sweet potatoes. So you guys saw we boiled them until they were tender and then I just went ahead and mashed them up. I'm adding some butter, some eggs, some milk, and then also we're gonna be adding a little bit of brown sugar and also some vanilla extract. I also added some nutmeg and some cinnamon as well. I always love an excuse to use my hand mixer. I honestly don't use this very often, but when I do, I love to use it. So I'm just combining all of those ingredients. And then in a separate bowl, I'm gonna be working on the topping. So for the topping, we're just adding some butter, some brown sugar, and then also some, what's next? Why is it taking so long? Some flour. I also added a little touch of salt and then I went ahead and combined it. It was way too hard with the wooden spoon, so now I'm just using my hand. Um, this honestly didn't give me the best crumbly texture. I also added a ton of pecans as well. Oh my gosh, you guys, this topping, I could literally eat it with a spoon. So freaking good. So I tried my best to spread it on top of the casserole, the pie. Um, it was kind of difficult, but it was still really, really delicious. Everything is now officially in the oven, except for rolls. Are we still gonna do the rolls? Yeah. Still want them? Yeah, we literally just have rolls left, but we have the green bean casserole, sweet potato casserole, stuffing, fish. We have the mac and cheese just staying warm in there. It was definitely hard to see the chicken in the bag. I'm just letting it rest in there because I just took it out of the oven a few minutes ago. So I'm letting it rest for like 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna take some of that juice that was in the bag. I'm gonna try to make a homemade gravy with it. We'll see how that turns out. And guys, our mashed potatoes. Let me show you how we're doing mashed potatoes. This is how we do mashed potatoes in this house. Bob Evans is honestly so delicious. So that's what we're gonna heat up in the microwave and then Mel is just cleaning up. So we're just gonna clean up. Nothing's better than being able to eat with a clean kitchen so you can just eat and just relax afterwards. So we're just going to clean up a little bit and do the finishing touches and you guys are gonna see our amazing, which I call it our spread, our feast, our dinner, spread. our spread. So yeah, stay tuned. Guys, look at my gorgeous chicken I made. Wow, we just like got it out the bag and we're gonna take the drippings and make a gravy, but I snapped to say the least. Babe making some homemade gravy. You know how we Using the juice from the chicken with some flour. We just strained it too, that's why. Strained it to get the, the herbs out. It's looking good. It so good. This is the bottle for the night. I've never had this before. I don't even know much about it, but I'm gonna find out about it and let you guys know. Cranberry sauce, mashed potatoes, stuffing mac. Happy Thanksgiving, Baba! Happy Thanksgiving! He really likes the cranberry sauce. Ah. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, you guys. Happy Thanksgiving, Baba. You guys, you did good job. You did good job? Yeah, well, you, you did good job. <laughs> and Yas, Yas supervised. Yas, you supervised. did that Wow. 
what are you guys doing to my son? What are you guys doing to him? <laughs> Let me take out my mom clip. Finally, I'm done for the day. Well, after we clean a little bit, but guys, Yasmin worked so hard this blood, Thanksgiving. Blood, sweat, and tears. Okay, she um, for all of these baked goods. All right. No, 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 she no. got in her car on this treacherous day. Drove, treacherous Thanksgiving day. Drove to the grocery store. Yes. Walked through 30 miles through the cold. Yes, through the wind. Through, through the, the wind. wind. So Baba and I already started eating like father, like daughter. Um, we're gonna start with this beautiful chocolate cream um, pie. Nice little chocolate crust delicacy we have over here. Then we have the good old pumpkin pie. This is essential to every Thanksgiving. I also got the homemade whipped cream to go with that. You know, you just right on top. We also have the carrot cake over here. Icing is perfection. And then we have the good old apple pie. This would have been better warm, but we wanted to eat it real no. fast, so yes. So she's serving me. I'm serving you, my sweetheart. Would you like anything else? Okay, this chocolate pie is not good. I don't like the crust. I'm not even offended, I didn't make it. But I think it tastes good. It's not too chocolatey, Nas. I was gonna get something like chocolate on top of chocolate. I purchased this because I'm like, you guys don't like so much chocolate like me. So you get a chocolate so, pie with like vanilla, a chocolate, with like chocolate. Cream. Cream, cream. She just said she got us this because she knows we don't like too much chocolate. So she gets okay. I got you a chocolate crust with chocolate filling with chocolate chips on top with chocolate syrup. Cream. There's there's white. There's there's um whipped cream on top. Carrot. We got apple. We got pumpkin. Do you want milk? Mm -hmm. Okay. I want a glass of milk would be nice. I'm just not a big sweets person, guys. It's perfect because I was like, okay, I want some of that pie, but I like the crust of the pie. So Yasmin says she'll eat the filling for me and I'll eat the crust. Guys, I just can't get over Yasmin saying she don't want to get a super chocolatey dessert. And <laughs> the most chocolatey pies. Now we're going to try the carrot cake. Is there raisins in this? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, everybody's making fun of me for my bakery. But y'all eating it though. We didn't have an option every five seconds. Guys, we're not even done with dinner yet. Should I get the desserts? Should I get the desserts ready? <laughs> Who wants dessert? Should I get them out? We're like, can we finish eating? Everybody was like, no, wait until everything digests. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna have everything out. Look at this presentation, okay? So I'm gonna have Come everything on. out for you guys. And if Perfect. you guys wanna eat it, you can. And if you don't, you don't have to. Huh, Baba? Yeah. yeah. If you did it truly, would you do? <laughs> <laughs> you did. Oh, you really did it. You talk a lot about and it. You guys, and you guys ask how I deal with haters or how we deal with haters. We were, we were made the for the like, haters. It's okay, it's tough skin. I'm not gonna lie, the carrot cake could have been better. We could have had more icing on the carrot cake. That's what makes the carrot cake. For me? Everything's for you. I've never, the I've pumpkin never, is not popular apparently. Wait, wait. I've never had raisins in my carrot cake. I just ate yeah, more. it's not the best. It's not, it just looked cute. It said happy Thanksgiving, so I'm like, Yeah, I have this little gift thing on it. Little ring. Here, since it's your bakery, you have to wear this ring for the rest of the night. <laughs> you have to clean it first. I have things. to wear it till the end of the year. Literally. Oh this my is gosh, my bakery. Thanks, thanks your mom for bringing you the, in this world. Give me. Give thank me, you, mama, for bringing cake. us into this world. Thank you, mama. Mwah. Thank you for giving birth to us. Sushi! My twin guys, like me and mama, have the same hair. Mm -hmm. Look at us. Mama, mini chai. Your hair is a little bit shorter than mine. Mm -hmm. And your hair is like black. I think we established that I look like mom. What do you do? Smile, smile. I, I do think people don't realize how much Yas looks like Mama. Because I always say I'm her like twin, but I feel like when we um smile. I look like that us. picture. That picture I just I look like on Mom Instagram. when she was like 20. Yeah, like the if picture you look I at her on pictures Instagram, in Romania. The picture I posted on Instagram, you look mm -hmm. a lot like Yas in the picture. And you too. But I have Baba's what is features. Shushi, come here. Did you eat my bakery, Mama? You know what? <laughs> nobody served me. Yeah, you're supposed to serve her. Okay, serve I'm gonna me. serve you. I promise. I, I promise. Do y'all wanna know? I got Nas some milk. Serve me. I bring you. She brought me a glass of milk. This you you have guys. Thanks me for Thanksgiving. Salut, 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 salut. Ah. Yay! Yay, Salut. Salut. Yay! Oh, 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 oh. Ah, she's a dilemma. Ah, she. Ah. Why? Mommy. <laughs> Mom. Yeah, he kicked me out. Kick, why? Mommy? Why, mommy? Be a two, be a two, be a two. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to
Okay. Hello guys, it is the next day. It is the day after Thanksgiving, so it's technically Black Friday today. Um, we are actually going on a little road trip. We're going to Fraser Park, if any of you guys are familiar with California. We're going to Brittany and Oleg's cabin house. So they've always invited us to go up there. We just could never work it out. So finally, we're able to go today and we're so excited. It always looks so beautiful in their pictures and their stories. So it is about an hour and a half drive. So that is why we are eating before we go. As you can see, we're feasting on leftovers. Here's Mama and I's plate. Guys, Tara has been playing hide and go seek with my mom. Hold on, I'm giving her little hints. Don't tell her. We're playing um, hide and go seek with Tara, my mom and I. Oh, she found you? She found you, mom? No. Oh, no, she did. She found you? No. Tara? Tara? Hold on, I'll, I'll go get her. Tara! Guys, look at this little loft area. No, you hide. hide. No, you count. I hide. Okay, what should we count to? You count to five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I didn't hide yet. You don't hide. We're waiting for you. Hi, go here. Hi. Okay, wait. Three, four, five. Ready? I found you. <laughs> I found Tara, you guys. Ooh, we're in the little loft area. It's the view. <laughs> Money. Ah, ah. That's a horse? Uh, this is Arabian. I think it's like an uh, uh, Arabian pony. So they took the mask off the horse. The mask like protects their eyes from the flies. But Oleg wanted to see the horse's face, but then the person at the stable was like well you have to put it back on so now he's never like done anything with the horse before and now he's trying to put the mask back on come on bro i can't reach man you gotta get a little closer tell him tell him to get closer preacher come here come here come here preacher oh no oh it's head bopping Preacher, come here. You're such a brat, man. Please, dude. I love his red hair. Should we get a horse, babe? Yes. For Vani. Guys, Ma actually wants a horse so bad, especially after we went to Napa. Look, he's sniffing for some food and leaves. What if he bites your fingers? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You are fearless. Oh, my God. Those little fingers, he's gonna think those little fingers are carrots. Yeah. Look, 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 Vaughn's watching you, Tara. He wants to see what you're doing. Alright, that's it, Tara. Beep, 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 beep. Next time we're gonna bring you up. Beep, beep. Beep, beep.
on now. This, a crackers. This is a crackers. It's a cheese. This, I don't know what this walnuts. is. Walnuts. Walnuts. Um, these are walnuts. And these are pickles. No, they're olives. Just like chocolates. They're olives. Olives. Yeah. Look, see, you can tell. Like Take a bite out of one. No. You don't like olives? <laughs> and there's pepperoni, salami. Salami and some pepperoni. No. Yeah. The boys just got back from hunting. You guys just got back from your hunting trip? The grocery store was Syrian guy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I spoke Arabic with him. What'd you buy? Tell him what you bought. We buy a lot what, what, of uh, What'd you guys all buy? I forgot the Oreos. Yeah. We have, we have s'mores, don't worry. A diet. Stump Coke, onion. Looks like you guys got back got from hunting. Green, green, oh, hunting, yep. Yeah, yeah y'all hunted all this. We got meat. Yeah. <laughs> we went out hunted and gathered for our women. <laughs> Propane. There you Hi, go. guys. We're going to go to uh, the hammocks and the swings. By the way, this is our property. Don't worry. Hold the camera real quick. Okay. Show them how you get on. First, you have to take off your shoes. So Your feet won't get cold? No. <sighs> then you, when your leg is in like this, uh -huh. fold it out, go like this. Mm -hmm. You mean the camera? Ta-da! You want to record me? So you open it up, right? Uh -huh. Take your shoes off. Ready? Oh my god, I'm going to fall! Ah. Nice and toasty, huh? Yeah, guys, we're just chilling in our hammocks. Tara can do all these cool tricks on her, on her hammock. So, basically, how you swing? I hold on it and I go like this. Whee! She, she had me. She's like, you try it now, and I, <laughs> I was like, Tara, I'm too heavy. So when I pull you, you come towards me, not the other way around. So I said I have to do it with Mo. And I can also do this. I can swing like that. Mm hmm And I can go like this. Guys, look at this trick she can do. Wow. Look at you. You're so strong. I could not hold myself up like that. <laughs> I really like how I go like this. Uh-huh. That looks fun. I wish I could swing like that. If you're a little. I know. Well, you are kind of swinging. <laughs> yeah, I am kind of swinging with you, huh? <laughs> Ow, if I pull. Oh, be careful, be careful. Oh. Be careful. I don't want you oh. to come flying off. Oh. I got oh. Tara, you're going to come off. So, yeah, we're just chewing in our hammocks right yes. now. And that's how we wrap up and get all cozy. Higher, 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 higher. That's the highest I could go. <laughs> higher. <laughs> higher than that. I'm not strong enough. We gotta get Mel out here. Oh my goodness, you're twisting. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Got the grill master out here. You know? Got the steak, chicken, some peppers. Mm -hmm. 